If you are placed in a position or if you accepted a position to lead a negotiations team in Grenada, after assuming the office of principal, we expect you to be well equipped to do so because you are well paid to do so. So all the excuses that we have heard about him being new and not familiar, none of that can wash. And if you're not competent, then you need to go. Public Relations Officer of the Public Workers Union, Daisy Hazard, directing her message to the principal of the T.A. Marisha Community College. The PWU promises to look into the deportment of the TAMCC principal. Hazard says the industrial matter of the college workers has been badly handled. What we are, doing, what we are willing to do is to examine that gentleman on the basis of his conduct. And his conduct has been reprehensible. His conduct has defied any kind of conduct that we have seen in my short tenure in this union in the way that people conduct themselves in industrial situations. He has had and demonstrated no care, little care, none whatsoever for the workers who have been out there for three months. She accused the head of the institution of painting a false narrative of what's really taking place at the college re-industrial actions and reaching an amicable settlement. And so when the principal sends, not to the union, not to the workers who are directly involved, but to all and sundry, and all, you, you, you type an email and you hit all, and you send it out to the public and you indicate July 19th that industrial relations at the, the, the college is going ahead full speed and we are managing it to a resolution, that was untrue. And that was wrong because your relations was being conducted with us. And we should have known before you tried to say to the public that there was smooth industrial relationships. And if, it, if that was the case, we would know. And so we want to say, Mr. Brunton, stop going out there in the press, in the media, and painting this rosy picture that does not exist. Hazard says they will not accept workers being denied their pay slips by their employer, something they are entitled to. We have been asking for this since June, what, 14th? We had commitment from the principal, Mr. Brunton, to come back to us two days later, Friday. We gave him a grace period and we say, come back to us on Monday. On Monday, he asked for Tuesday, reluctantly, we were told. On Tuesday, he asked for Wednesday, and Wednesday has never come. Up to now, the workers of the college are asking for their slips. What am I going to be paid retroactively? What am I going to be paid in my increases over what period of time? She calls on government to intervene. MCC is a mess of prolonged, unresolved issues. Those issues are not going to go away overnight. Those issues are not going to be solved overnight. But while those issues are being worked on, our workers cannot be denied the right to knowing on paper from the employer what their increase is, what their money, what their money business is. It is their right. And so we cannot wait any longer. We are asking the, the administration, we are asking the government, we are asking the Minister for Education to have this resolved. It GBN attempted to reach TAMCC's principal for a response to the accusations. However, that proved futile. Chrislina John, GBN News.